Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Wen Lei. I'm from the MSF OCG. And today I'm going to present about the fisherman study that we have done in the Nindari project. Um, it's a pleasure for me to be able to present on behalf of the authors, as mentioned on the slide. So as it is the fisherman study, I would like to briefly mention about the fishermen. So as all of you are aware, fishermen is regarded as a high risk population because of their highly mobile professional and their um, close sexual network in their community and <coughs> access to cash and income. And also as they walking away from their family, the frequency of using commercial sex is high. And that the HIV, the HIV status of fishermen hasn't monitored yet, closely monitored yet by the Ministry of Health and Sport, and also by the INGO. In our Tawai project, we found that 25% of our HIV cohort patients are fishermen. Because, because the Nindai is one of the most uh, productive fishing region in Myanmar. In 2010, 650,000 tons of fish produced from the Nindai region. So this is just showing our coastal region, uh, coastal line of Myanmar, which is about more than 3,000 kilometers. So MSF uh, <coughs> in Myanmar, MSF OCG has started in 2000, yeah, year 2000. But in 2000, starting from 2003, we have implemented the HIV project in the Nindari region. So Myanmar is uh, HIV epidemic is the concentrated. Concentrated epidemic among the high-risk group men who have sex with men, sex worker, and the injection drug user. So at the time of 2015, uh, nearly 88% of our ART in the Denina region are provided by the MSF clinic. But right now, uh, we are sharing half by half with the Ministry of Health because we are in the transition period. Uh, operational research was integrated in 2013 in our OCG project. So we did a cross-sectional cross retrospective analysis of routinely collected FUSHA data. And this study met the exemption from the MSF ethical review because it is a retrospective analysis. So uh, we have identified uh, in our cohort May HIV positive fishermen 1,172 at that. Uh, compared to a dead male cohort, 1,626 patients as a comparison group. And descriptive analysis were done to compare the uh, clinical characteristics and the demographic characteristics between uh, fishermen and the male adult cohort. And also, the uh, generalized linear model was assessed to identify the odds of the risk behavior. Uh, in addition, the fishermen was disaggregated into three subgroups, the local subsistence fishermen, uh, Myanmar fishermen, and the international fishermen. So local subsistence fishermen are fishermen who own their own boat, and they spend uh, some time in the sea, but not longer than other two groups. Myanmar fishermen, are the, uh, the boat are owned by the Myanmar citizen, but they spend longer time than the local fishermen. International fishermen are uh, owned by the, the, the boat are owned by the foreigner, and they spend much more time in the sea compared to other two subgroups, and they are walking in, in the international water. So this is the patient characteristic comparison of between fishermen and the non-fishermen. So uh, from this slide, you can see the um, baseline CD4 among two groups, mean times on the ART is not too much different. Uh, loss to follow rate is not much different, statistically not different. But fishermen have a higher risk of using the high risk behavior like uh, using a commercial sex and also the injecting drug user compared to the non fishermen group. And we also compare the second line ARV proportion among the non fishermen and the other sub three groups of the fishermen. So as you can see here, uh, the proportion of second line ARV is not different between non fishermen and the fishermen. Uh, Hep C uh, among we uh, sorry. 
So not all patients of our fishermen and non fishermen have, have a test with the hepatitis C, but among screen patients, we uh, compare the proportion between the non fishermen and the other subgroup of the fishermen, and we can see there is a, a high proportion of hep C co-infection uh, in the fishermen group compared to the non fishermen group, especially in the international fishermen. Um, this is a odd ratio of uh, having uh, sex with men who have sex with men, commercial sex use, and also injecting drug user among the fishermen compared to the non comparison <laughs> compared to the non fishermen group. So international fishermen uh, have high use of commercial sex and injecting drug practice compared to the non fishermen group. So in summary, we found that um, there is a high use, uh, high odd of commercial sex and injecting drug among the fishermen population. Uh, and we found that uh, fishermen are good patients. Uh, they are successful patients in terms of their mobile nature. Uh, they are mean, mean duration on the ART treatment uh, is also good and loss to follow is also low in the fishermen group. So we found that the fishermen are, has the successful treatment compared to the non-fishermen. Um, there is a higher risk of uh, using commercial sex and also drug use. So uh, counseling service is highly needed uh, for the, this fisherman group. And also we found that hepatitis C infection is also high in the fishermen. Uh, so, um, would be interested to advocate to the Ministry of Health or the other organization for the ham reduction program. And, and as uh, Ministry of Health is now start rolling the hepatitis C treatment program nationwide, so it would be interested for them to see the result that fishermen would be a, a high risk group to systematically screen for the hepatitis C. So we have some limitation in the analysis uh, because this data used the routinely collected data and the fisherman's data was at the time of the enroll in their, uh, our cohort, so that might change over time. And the type of the, the disaggregation between the, between the fishermen was maybe slightly different uh, depending on the interviewer at the time of admission. And risk information is self-reported, so maybe and uh, estimated. Uh, I would like to thank all the. I would like to relay the thanks message to the MSF staff on behalf of the order. Thank you. Thank you very much for your nice presentation. Now I'd like to open for uh, questions and clarifications, please. So I would like to ask a, a question maybe when people are thinking about uh, Did you also assess uh, their knowledge about the risks factors for acquiring uh, hep C and any other diseases? Do they have any, uh, what, what is the knowledge of these pe populations? Um, is there anybody who has done such type of an assessment on these people because um, not yet. This is just a, this is just a uh, routine collected data analysis, but we are thinking to do in the yes. future to find out the... Because it would be interesting to know that even if knowingly, if they still are not changing their behavior, yeah. so then there needs to be other interventions that... Yes. Yes, please. Hi. I'm just curious to know, like, w uh, did you only study fishermen or this includes, includes like, fisher women also and... Was there a difference in, like, them having HIV uh, and co-infection? Sorry, can you repeat the question? So I'm just asking that uh, the group that you studied, yeah. fishermen, did that also include women, or these are just men you're talking about? It's only men, or even females are in. Uh, no, men, uh, because in our group, because we are studying the fishermen in our HIV cohort, so not all the fishermen population in the way. So in our HIV cohort, most of the fishermen are male. Male, okay. Yes. Any, any questions? 
Uh, I would like to also, you know, uh, understand, you said that the government is planning to start treatments for hepatitis C. Yes. Uh, I guess it's with the new, uh, directly, you know, this DAAs, right? Yes. So what is the uh, availability and cost of these treatments in Myanmar? Do you have any idea? Um, so Ministry of Health was start the treatment, uh, already started studying from May. The target is 2000. So, um, so right now they are fine funding for the further increasement in the target. Right now for the 2000 treatment, they are using the donation from the BMS. Okay, they're getting yeah. a donation from BMS. Yes, please. The last question, yes, then we move on. I'm Dr. Santosh from the Bersara board. Um, yeah, uh, it's like, um, uh, can you actually provide that, uh, how, much is, uh, how much the prevalence is from sexual, uh, uh, sexual intercourse and how much is from intravenous drug use? And uh, if it's possible, if it's like more of uh, the patients have acquired this HIV, hepatitis C and also this HIV from uh, sexual route, is it possible that we, we need to intervene on the prevention, like condom, uh, the use of condoms and so on? Uh, have we actually thought about that? Um, okay. So in Myanmar, so <coughs> most of the, hep you were talking about the hepatitis C prevalence, right? Yes. Yeah. So in Myanmar, uh, mo the, the hep C prevalence is the highest among the injection drug user. In our study, we found that the International fishermen has a high prevalence of the Hep C infection, and they are also uh, high risk to uh, use the drug, injecting drug. And then, so we found we uh, control this injecting uh, drug user in order to find out the risk to Hep C infection as well. So still, the risk of he getting hepatitis C is higher even after control the injection drug user. So that might be interesting to find out other risks better in addition to the injecting drug user. Might be uh, you are mentioning about this promoting the sexual protection would be interested. Okay. Right. So uh, it's uh, the, the the question and the comments have been on. Has there been any? advocacy for using condoms to these group of people, you know, that would in itself prevent many of these sexual transmitted diseases. Yes, we have a, this a kind of activity in our project because as we found that the fishermen, 25% uh, of our cohort, we have community testing activity targeting to the fishermen village and giving the health education as well. Thank you very much.